Hi, today I'm going to talk to you. I got my hands on an HP ProBook 6470B. And I'm going to talk about this machine today. Now, this originally came with Windows 7. This does have one 4 gigabyte stick of RAM in it. And it is upgradable to Windows 10. I probably will upgrade the RAM to full capacity, replace the hard drive, and reinstall the operating system, and probably donate this like I've done numerous ones before. But I want to talk to you about something. If you want to put an operating system on this machine, you will have to have a USB, a flash drive. Getting this machine to boot from the DVD ROM that is in this machine is next to impossible. And I mean next to impossible. The easiest way to get an operating system on this machine is through flash drive. Um, I had Windows XP on this little drive. I'm not sure if it's still on here, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to walk you through the steps anyway. And the reason I'm going to put XP on here, one, I don't like Windows 10. Um, Microsoft has hit my laptop numerous times, crashed Windows 7 that I have numerous times. In fact, I got a notice the other day, and I'm just sick of messing with Microsoft. I do not want to upgrade to Windows 10. I will not upgrade to Windows 10. Every time they upgrade my machines, it crashes my machines. So I'm not going to do it. Instead of upgrading or so called upgrading to Microsoft Windows 10, I will upgrade to Windows XP and I will put Linux Mint next to XP as a dual boot system. I will not try to reinstall Windows 7. There's a reason. One Microsoft has already stopped supporting certain things in 7. Next month on the 14th completely. So if you have to get Windows 7 reinstalled you can forget it. So we're going to talk about this machine. How to boot this machine up. First make sure your flash drive is installed. Second turn your machine on and hit the ESC key. Tap it. this list will come up now what you want is F9 and right there as you can see this does have a DVD ROM um, let's see if I can get it to open for you little bitty button on this thing I don't know if you can see that or not I hope you can right there it's not showing up in BIOS. Now even if I went into settings and turned off uh, safe, secure, whatever it is, it will not load that DVD-ROM for a boot option. I understand you can go through all kinds of command prompt stuff or whatever and this and that to try to get it to boot, but your average user is not going to be able to do all that. So, if you have to install Windows on one of these, this is a HP ProBook 6470B, install it from a flash drive. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back this up, and we're going to go into BIOS real quick, which would be F10. Now once you're in BIOS, if you can't get it to boot, go all the way over to System Configuration, down to Boot Options, and then go almost all the way down, and right here, Legacy Boot Order, see it says USB CD-ROM. That's the first boot order. 
Then it goes USB floppy, USB hard drive, notebook hard drive, eSATA drive, such and such and such. Alright, but the CD-ROM will not boot. And actually it's a DVD-ROM. Make sure legacy mode, I have it on. Secure boot. That has to be unchecked. That secure boot will mess you up. So it has to be unchecked. And if you have to screw around with the BIOS to get that to uncheck, then do it. Because you're not going to boot anything with secure boot on. Let's go back. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and save that. See, there's no, I didn't tap it fast enough. There's no operating system on this. I just put this drive in here. You put power, tap it really fast, and then your list is going to come up. Alright, if you already had an operating system, you can hit enter and it will continue. But we want F9. And then hit enter, you know, whichever one you want. I'm going to boot from USB, and it says USB hard drive. So don't com get confused because this is not a hard drive, it's a floppy. Uh, not a floppy, but a flash drive but it picks up as a USB hard drive and like I said I will probably fix this up uh, max out the RAM and put Linux on it I will of course put Linux on it after this loads and, and installs and that way somebody could use it to go online with because Windows XP is not going to work but since Windows 7 is completely going to be stop supported at all now I'm going to delete the partition I'm going to and then create and then enter and I'm going to go ahead and fast format but since Windows 7 is going to be completely worthless by January 14th was when Microsoft said they were going to stop supporting it. If you have some Windows programs or games that you really want to play and stick with, install XP and do the best you can because if you have to install Windows 7 again, you could be in a world of hurt. Especially if they don't update it. And if you can't get your service packs your net framework, um, your DirectX updated, then you can be in a serious world of hurt. You can find Windows XP, ISOs all over the place. You can even find DirectX 9 complete online. You can find um, Visual CC redistributables, uh, you know, complete packets for that. So, you know, it's it's a fast little computer. Um, it has a Core i3. So it, it's a decent little laptop, but it's such a pain to work on. And once again, I will have to install the device drivers. And the thing about that HP ProBook 6470B is you can go to HP and they still have device drivers for this laptop going clear back to Windows XP. Um, they have Windows XP, Windows 7, I believe Vista, I'm not sure about 8 or 8.1 but yes you can install Windows 10 on this if you absolutely have to. So but unfortunately it's a little more difficult on this one changing the hard drive out than it is on like the Dell Latitude E6500s. 
Uh, you do have to pull the bottom off, which is not that hard to do. You pull off um, the battery. There's two slides above the battery. You hold them and you pull the battery off and you hold those two slides in place and you slide the front, the, the bottom forward and then you can take it off. There's also three screws on the inside holding on the hard drive and you have to pull it backwards and then lift up on it and then there's like four screws holding the hard drive and the little tray caddy. So it's a whole lot different than the the Dell Latitude where all you have to have is four screws on the bottom and you pull the whole thing out. So anyway, I wanted to show you how to enter the boot menu on this in BIOS. Remember, if you get one of these machines, as soon as you turn it on, hit your ESC key, tap it, just tap, 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 tap. That'll bring up a list. F9 is your boot order. So if you have a USB flash drive, you want that to be first if you're installing an operating system. Now you saw it in uh, the BIOS, it showed CD-ROM, but this is actually a DVD-ROM. But it will not install an operating system from the CD or DVD-ROM. Uh, I tried numerous times. Um, I even tried an external. Uh, it will not work with an external DVD-ROM or CD-ROM. So about the only way you're going to get a operating system on this machine is off of a flash drive. Um, you can find, like I said, Windows XP ISOs. If you're going to use XP, use Rufus 2.8, I believe. It's an older version. Don't use the newer version. If you're going to try to install Windows 7, which this machine will take, uh, use the newest version of Rufus. So, yeah, 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 yeah. And I really don't like having a mouse not hooked up. You know, I, I'm going to overwrite this anyway, uh, so it doesn't matter what I put on this. I'm going to actually slayed this entire drive I just threw it in here it was blank but it seems like it's a nice little laptop uh, once again it did come with Windows 7 but it had to be overwrote um, there were numerous viruses and complete Windows crash on this machine when I got it so, you know, like I said, I'm not going to put Windows 7 back on it. Um, if you get something with Windows 7, if you want to try to reinstall it, that's up to you. But personally, most of the stuff I have, like older games, older programs, will work on Windows XP. Um, this is a 32-bit XP. I do have Windows XP on a disk over there. I've shown that before. And I just ripped the ISO from my disk. So, you know, you are more than welcome to look for XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, whatever. But uh, before you get an operating system for this machine, go to HP and make sure they have the device drivers for the OS you're trying to find. Um, I have already installed XP and Linux on this machine. It's on a different drive. And Linux picks everything up perfectly without having to install anything. So, and that's Linux Mint. But once again, I wanted to show you or, and tell you, hopefully, how to enter boot order. Because a lot of people are confused about that. When you start it, hit that power button. Start tapping. Tap, 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 tap. As fast as you can. That ESC key. 
and it'll bring that list up. Hopefully you can see the list. And then like I said, pick F9. As long as you have your flash drive plugged in first with your operating system on it. Anyway, I'm fixing to go. I just wanted to talk about this machine and how to enter a boot order and actually how to enter BIOS is ESC tap 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 and then F10. But that secure boot has to be off. I mean literally. You have to make sure that is turned off. Or you may end up working on this thing for hours and then give up. Alright, well that's it for this. Um, I hope everything turned out okay. I can't see my laptop. It's actually facing, you know, it's facing the other direction. So I can't tell what this is picking up and what it's not picking up. So if it's not picking up perfectly for you, I apologize. And that's it. And everyone have a good day.